Borkin. This is Fox 411 Throwback Thursday. It was a three-hour tour, and now it's 50 years later, and we're celebrating Gilligan's Island with star Don Wells, who famously played Marianne on that iconic TV show, and who has a new book out now called What Would Marianne Do? A Guide to Life. Welcome, Don. Thank you. I can't Thanks believe for it's being 50 here. years. I can't believe that. Oh, wow. And we're still talking about it, and it's still on TV, and people are still watching it. So it's incredible. Never been off the air since 1964 in 30 languages all over the world. I would love to hear the theme song in Japanese. Or something. <laughs> <laughs> and I think you've said this before, but when it first came out, you didn't expect it was going to be this kind of a hit, right? The critics and everybody said it won't last 20 minutes. Sherwood Schwartz said we'll be lucky if we get reruns. <laughs> ah. And now here we are. Here we are. Um, so the book, let's talk about this. What topics are you addressing in terms of what would Marianne do and well, what would she do? And it's, you know, it's a, it's a little bit of my life because I was raised is a Marianne in Reno, Nevada, where there's gambling and divorce and prostitutions and all of that. The fact that my mother knew where I was every single second. My mother was very, uh, not hard on me, but I knew right from wrong. And now the families are mixed, both parents have to work. So I thought, would the fans come to me and say, I was an abused child, or my brother and sister and I used to run home from school, uh, and they're 40 years old, and they say, my kids are enjoying it too. So there is a message here. And I think Marianne was. Uh, she'd been your friend. She'd been a companion. There was no bullying. She pitched in and she worked. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think that's really what's necessary today. You as a 14-year-old are mapping out your life. And you're putting it on the Internet. Everybody sees it. So I think there's a time to say, what is really right or wrong? Be kind. Uh, don't bully. Um, learn your etiquette. Not the right fork. But learn if somebody's in a wheelchair to help open the door. It isn't all about you. And it, it, it's, it's kind of cute. It's light. It's not... Uh, rules to follow and it's it's written kind of, we have called the terrible twos are you too lazy are you too persistent are you too uh tardy all the time what are those things that you need to share and i think as a mother raising kids today it's a great book for christmas yeah. i'm very proud of it yeah. i really am very proud of it. it's not don wells's life at all <laughs> sure yeah and now in terms of you know the good girl image that marianne had it also prompted this whole in a, you know in reference to the show are you a ginger or marianne yes, yes and so which i'm sure you still hear to this day yes and i don't think and it happened until the reruns Oh, I think the reruns that started others t-shirts. Who do you vote for? Who do you vote for? And there's a cookie <laughs> store here. I did a play here a couple years ago. There's a cookie store that sells ginger snaps, and it says we apologize to Marianne. Oh, <laughs> and uh, were you proud to be the Marianne in that case? Sure. I yeah. wore the short shorts. Well, there you go. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> the groundbreaking short shorts, which well, I was going to ask it, you about. It gave I mean, a little it was... sex appeal rather than just being the goody two shoes in the gingham dress. Right, you know? right. Do you think there are many Marianne's on TV now or in real life? Yeah, I do. I think it's harder. I think we're kind of into the $500 purse and the Kardashians and all of that. Maybe that's a little fantasy. Right. But how are you really living? And with both parents working really hard, I don't know. I mean, I believe a mother should go through your drawers. If you're living at home, why shouldn't you go through your child's drawers? I mean, I think it's harder today. But, yes, there are good girls and there are good people. And, and I'm watching a lot of the, the crew here and stuff say, my kids and I, we sit down and watch it together. Mm -hmm. So there is a message that's still getting there. Yeah. And then I know you have Gilligan's Island trivia within this book. Um, what's a piece of trivia that most people just don't know? That When you say it to them, there's like one, is there one thing that most people did not know about the show? No, but they asked me to sing the song with this show that I just came from, and I don't know the words, so I'm pretty oh. embarrassed. I don't know if there is a piece of trivia. Well, no. um, and then just a question that maybe some fans have. Were there any real life on the island romances? No, because uh, <laughs> I thought the professor was a real hunk. But we were both married, so there wasn't a shot at that. Both married. Yeah, so yeah. just friendships um, throughout. And then also, um, in terms of guest stars, did you have anyone that stood out? Was there anyone that was like the most outrageous or the weirdest well, guest star that came Don out? Don Rickles was just hysterical. And I remember he kept you laughing constantly in between each take. And our producer said, this is a four-day four shoot. I wouldn't have hired him for five days because you couldn't have stood it for five days. <laughs> we had Phil Silvers. We had uh, Jaja Gabor. We had... Uh, uh, Denny Miller was the Jungle Boy, but my favorite was Rory Calhoun. None of you all there remember who he was, but he was a big movie star in the 40s and so handsome. He played the big game hunter. And Ginger and I used to just walk around and follow him. He was the best looking thing you ever saw. <laughs> and then, okay, so let's talk about those shorts. Let's talk about the wardrobe. So it, people may not know, a lot went into the design of those because yes. of what you could not show on TV at the time. Can you tell me a little bit yes, about that? Yes, and I'm very, I was very tiny, short, always worried about my weight. Ginger was very tall with long legs. And I thought, all right, now I'm going to have a hand in this. So we weren't allowed to show my navel. We weren't allowed. She couldn't show cleavage very much. Mm -hmm. So I worked with a wardrobe girl designing them. They kind of came up 
just a little bit of a rise over the navel, but dipped down so my torso would look long. My legs were kind of short, so I curved them up so my legs looked longer. And they go on auction. Actually, 16th, 17th, and 18th of October with Profile in History, because I was opening my trunk and went, I have these after all these years? Who could wear them? You know, they're about this big. <laughs> and I think it's kind of, it's the first short shorts on television, not the Daisy Dukes. Right, so yeah. it's kind of a groundbreaking thing, I think. Absolutely. And, and then projects coming up, in addition to this book, what else are you working well, on? Well, I have a couple of reality shows. I hate to use that word. It's not Housewives of North Hollywood. Uh, but, but shipwrecks, a couple of things going on. And I, Great. I'm very, I'm very active and very busy, so it's, I'm very lucky to be healthy. I'm very lucky to still be working and I do a lot of theater. I did Love Loss here. I did Lion of Winter last year. I mean, I've been very, very busy Fantastic. and very happy. Thank you. Yes. Thank goodness. Thank you so much. Well, Don, so great talking with you. Appreciate you joining us. Me too. Today. Thank you. And of course, the book is available now. What would Marianne do? A guide to life. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Ashley Dvorkin.